Practicing fire safety at home is something we should all do every day of the year. And this year, Denver 7 is proud to once again be a part of the American Red Cross Sound the Alarm Day of Action. Here's Katie with some ideas of how to keep you, your family, and your home safe. And here to discuss fire safety and sound the alarm day of action is Andrea Carlson with the American Red Cross of Colorado and Wyoming. Andrea, it's so great to have you. So Thank what you. is the goal that you want people to know for this day of action? You know what, what's so important to us, to us this year is really to make sure that people are making plans and staying safe. This has been such kind of a wacky year with the pandemic and everything going on. So it's, it's certainly changed things for us a little bit, but with the amount of time we're spending in our homes that we really wanna make sure that people are guaranteeing and they have a plan for fire safety in the event something should happen. And so that's really our hope is to make sure we're spreading awareness and providing people with the information they need that, so that they can create a fire plan. It's so good for all of us to be prepared in case of an emergency. And I know a lot of families already have working alarms, but can you still help them with that fire escape planning? Absolutely. So for most homes, there are working smoke alarms. And so a couple of things you always want to do twice a year in your home is double check those smoke alarms. Make sure you have batteries, even if there's batteries in there change those batteries out. The worst thing you want to have happen is have those batteries run out and not work. The second thing is make sure that manufacturer's date on the top or excuse me, on the underneath part of your smoke alarm is within 10 years. Um, they do have a little bit of a shelf life on them. So we always want to make sure that people are updating those every 10 years or so to ensure that they are going to work as correctly and accurately as possible. And then finally, what we really want people to do, whether you live by yourself, you have pets, you have children, whatever it looks like inside your home, we really want to make sure that you come up with a two minute fire plan. And what that means is in the event of a fire or it's something happening inside your home where you would have to evacuate quickly, that it would take you less than two minutes to gather people, pets, stuff, and be able to safely get out of your home. And so that's really the hope is, you know, walking through that and looking at what you need in order to accomplish it. So smart. Practice that two minute fire drill and test those alarms. So yeah, well, and make sure you know what supplies to take and what you're looking for and where all those things are located. You know, it's it's so difficult when you think of two minutes isn't that long of a time, but in the event of a disaster, an emergency, it really can be a big deal of, you know, where are the dog leashes? Are they by the front door? If we had to grab a file of important paperwork, where does that exist? And so you have different roles for everybody inside of your home to make sure that you're getting everybody out on time and quickly. You can learn more about home fire drills and checking your smoke detectors right now at soundthealarm.org. You can also sign up to volunteer for the Sound the Alarm Day of Action this Saturday to help educate others about fire safety.